Hi, I'm Jason here for Resner Technical Services, and today I'm going to show you how to connect a dry contacts thermostat to a Resner gas fired single stage unit heater. We're going to look at this UDX75. Now, with the heater, there are going to be two powers one is going to be the incoming line voltage, and the other is going to be the 24 volt control signal. Now, it's important that we use a 24 volt thermostat so that we still get our post purge after the call for heat is over. If we end up using a line voltage thermostat, then we don't end up getting our post purge, which means there's going to be flue gas still left inside the heat exchanger, and the prop fan will also shut off, meaning that we're not going to wipe off the radiant heat off of the heat exchanger. So it's very important that we use a 24 volt thermostat. Inside the unit on its door, there is a wiring diagram showing the thermostat connections. On the back of the unit, there is a thermostat strip with a common, the R terminal, which is the 24 volt positive out, a G terminal for the fan, W1 terminal for call for heat, and W2 terminal. Now on this unit there is no second stage of heating so the W2 terminal will not be used. Since this is a single stage unit I'm only going to connect three wires. I'm going to connect the red to the R terminal. The green to the G terminal. and a white to W1. Make sure they're all nice and snug and no wires are touching the other terminals. And inside the thermostat, I connected the red wire to the R terminal, the green wire to the G terminal, and the white wire to the W terminal. Now that we have our connections both at the unit and on our thermostat, let's go ahead and turn it on. The room I'm in is about 71 degrees, so I'm going to turn the heat on. I'll take it to about 75. And we can see on the DSI board we're getting a zero, which means we're getting a call for heat. And the ignition sequence is activated. Now I don't have this thing connected to any gas back here uh, so it's actually not going to fire off but we should go through our pre-purge where we heard the venter motor start and right now it is trying to light off but we don't have any gas so I'm just going to turn the thermostat back down my call for heat went away as indicated here and now it's just going to do a post purge cycle until the venter motor shuts off Another viable option that we have is to use a thermostat that uses a common wire. It could be a multi-stage thermostat or a programmable thermostat. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Now we can see at the back of the unit, I just added the brown wire to the common terminal. Again, making sure that none of the wires are touching each other. So here we have the common and the X terminal for this thermostat. The RH and RC are together, and we have the red wire coming in for our 24 volt hot. The W1 terminal is our call for heat to the DSI board, and the G terminal is the call for the fan. Now we're going to test the fan just to make sure it works. So we're going to go from auto to on. And yes, our fan is working. Now let's turn the fan off and let's turn the unit over to heat. There we go, the fan turned off. Okay, let's turn this to heat. So now that we have this turned to heat, the venter motor is kicked on and it's going through its pre purge cycle. I can hear the spark igniter ticking, but again, I don't have any gas connected to it, so it's just going to shut off. 
turn it off. It's going to do a post purge. The venter motor will shut off. And that's how you connect thermostats to Resner gas fired unit heaters. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.